What's going on guys? We got another video with our three special guests here. We got Kareen, Sam, and Dennis. Today we actually have a great topic suggested by Sam about how did you get into informatics and why did you get into informatics? So we'll start. We'll start. Somebody else should go first. <laughs> Sam. Sam? Yep. Okay. Sam. As, as the youngest informaticist amongst us, there we get go. to start first. Wow, well, th thank you for that uh, shout out. Uh, why? Okay, so I, I think kind of ties into why I even went to pharmacy. There was a time um, where there wasn't no, any pharmacy people in my family, and I was like, I had a, a family member that got really sick and passed away because of a med error. And so I was like, I want to be that person in my family that can be able to answer med related questions. And so that's why I went to pharmacy school. And so the whole time thinking, oh, I'm just going to be on the front line doing my thing, which is not a problem at all. I got to my third year, I had a, uh, one lecture in informatics, and I started talking about making a lot of changes, um, but with technology. And I was just like, hold on. If I actually get into this domain, I can actually be able to save people from the med error that happened to my family member. So that's where I got the interest. And then um, how did I get into it? It was more of leveraging my experiences from my PGY1. I knew I wanted to go into informatics and I wanted to go to a hospital that was gonna give me a lot of opportunities to see a whole gamut of things. And so I tried to make my major project in informatics, it didn't work out. So I um, signed up to make my minor project um, in informatics, looking at some med error data, drug interactions, just be so if I was going to sell myself for a, a residency, at least I could say I did something. So just volunteering for as much informatics related projects as possible while trying not to burn out as a resident. That's what I did. Okay. Who's next? If you want to go with the youngest, and then this is the oldest. Korean, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're next. I'm a middle child in this situation. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not going to say mine. I have a lot of videos on those. So. Okay. Brian is pretty three. old too, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Not that old. Right, okay, three. so I think playing on to that, how I got into pharmacy just in general was also when it came to healthcare. I knew I always loved it. I was always interested in medicine, in medications, and so that's basically since I was five years old, I think when I could speak, she knew. I knew I was going to go into, into healthcare. And so that wasn't a question. Um, I also was really involved with, it, very interested in oncology. And actually I took my capstone classes and undergrad in oncology. And so it's something that, that I always thought was unique and definitely really interesting and definitely constantly changing. So I knew that. Um, how did I end up actually getting into informatics? Probably is a little bit of a, of a different story, but a lot of it came down to um, different classes, different electives, taking them throughout pharmacy school, and then definitely um, last the last year of P4 year when you're going through and you're seeing all these different specialized rotation areas, I loved a lot of them. I loved most of them, for sure, and I was having a really hard time trying to narrow it down and trying to figure out where did I really want to focus, because I knew I wanted to do a PGY1, but Constantly, and I think especially with pharmacy students nowadays, you really are thinking even beyond just PGY1. It's well, what do I want to specialize in? Just because there are so many different PGY2 areas. So it was one of those things where I really loved ambulatory care. I liked the flexibility in the different areas um, within that. I, that was going to be where I went um, into as a PGY as a PGY1. That was part of my interview process, and then. My very, very, very last rotation, P P4 year, was my elective, and it was in informatics, and I absolutely loved it. I picked it because it, I was always good with computers in IT, and it seems like a pretty good elective, pretty interesting field, and I completely fell in love with it. It played along that role of being able to do a lot of different areas, taking care and seeing a lot of different specialties, and not really having to focus on just one, one care center. And so. That said, now I do basically all came up, but <laughs> but still having that ability and having that flexibility and looking forward, I can, I can go into so many different areas within the within our specialty. Okay, Dennis, how and why? How and why? Oh, let's make it a long story. Why I'm very <laughs> <laughs> short, short story. 
keep it brief. <laughs> so I was born in 1986, <laughs> and you know, I was a baby. 1906. No, that 2006. first hospital you were in. <laughs> um, Really, I think it started in undergrad, so uh, Brian did his undergrad with me at University of Florida. I initially started as a computer science major, and that's what's something that I had a background in even before um, undergrad. You know, I, I, I was self-taught in C++, um, Perl, Java, um, HTML, SQL, things like that, and so I have an experience in that background, but you know, I, I very quickly realized the actual field of computer science is not the one for me. Um, ended up having really good mentors that brought me into pharmacy school. Um, and when I started picking residencies, um, I started picking residencies that would allow me to explore both my clinical interests, which um, at the time was in pediatrics, because as a fourth year on my internships or, or rotations, I actually had um, PT Monk, um, PEDS uh, Critical Care, Pediatrics, just a whole gamut of pediatric experiences. Um, I worked with basically all the alumni um, from the University of Kentucky residencies, so they were my mentors coming into a PG by one residency. So my top two residencies were University of Kentucky, so potentially working with Bob Kuhn over there, who's considered um, the grandfather or the father of pediatric pharmacy in general, or Indiana University that would allow me to have a great pediatric experience. Um, Sharm clinical experience with the on-call component as well as having informatics balance and, and I think throughout my residency I found myself based on my own background, my, my skill set, it, it just seemed nat more natural that I, I, I kind of went to informatics route and so I understood the system far better than even my peers that were trained at the same time, far better than I think pharmacists that have been there a while um, just because I kind of have that inclination towards um, have an understanding for the technology components of that. And so, um, ended up taking a um, informatics rotation at Indiana University Health, brought me to Ohio State University, and that's where I am today. So, um, yeah. Okay, two random questions uh, on that, since all of us kind of went through like this clinical phase. Um, if you guys, well, I guess kind of went peas and PMOP, and then one from you. If you were to, <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't want to say it. What was your clinical phase? Did you have like specialty areas that you were interested in? Um, the area that I was actually interested in was ID. ID? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, ID. Pretty interesting. Did you have other uh, clinical areas that you were interested in? Creating? I really, I, I really HEMOC. loved loved the HEMOC. I did a rotation in it um, as a student, and then I really loved ambulatory care. Ooh. I, I was no. <laughs> I was pretty I was pretty actually set on ambulatory care. Um, that's where I what I was going towards the idea of doing oral chemotherapy clinics, something like that, where I could see those patients and have, <laughs> have that long extended contact with them, um, developing the re relationship, um, having them bring in treats or bringing food that from their eat. garden <laughs> that, <laughs> that you would eat because they knew so. you by your first name. I loved that idea, and so that's where that's actually how I picked my my um, PGY one site was because it offered a lot of ambulatory care options. It had um, diabetes education. They had a pharmacy managed um, anticoagulant outpatient clinic. So mm -hmm. that was really where where I was going. That was funny. Like my the attractor from the clinical practice was actually getting too much of it. So they, I thought I was gonna actually outside of ID, I was really interested in care. And so I did a lot of amp, you know, this, my PGY went to a lot of rotations. And then I found myself getting into this whole repetition. I'm like, see this, run the lab, poke, um, change based on the protocol. You know, I was like, ah, I think I can get bored of this really quick. And so going back to like our, one of our first conversations, just that dynamic of things changing every day, I think that made me more excited to wake up and do what I need to do. So like, I can't do that. I need something that's gonna be changing a little bit more. And so. Perfect. Okay. Did you have another clinical area? Is that interesting? Yeah, actually, uh, for a while, pediatrics and, and critical care were on kind of top of my, my list. And one of the other reasons I picked Indiana University was was the opportunity to work with Judith Jacoby. She was the first PharmD president of Society of Critical Care Medicine. Was that 2011? She also was my first preceptor, so that was a rough start to residency. <laughs> <laughs> that is. But, but you know, I learned a lot, and in 
But what I also learned was I was really tired of saying the same things over and over every week as new interns or residents rotate out. Yeah. You know, this is your IVPO conversion, this is your QTC <laughs> issues. And, you know, from the informatics perspective, we can control that from a macro level and, and, and hopefully provide, you know, the right information to avoid ordering that QTC prolonged new med in a patient that's already QTC prolonged. Avoid ordering an IV med where a PO option would work for a patient that's not NPO. I mean, things like that where, you know, I, I love rounds. But I hated saying the same things over and over and over and over again. So, definitely a big impact what you can do with informatics. Um, if you guys have questions for these guys, definitely hit up. Probably have them LinkedIn <laughs> 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 profiles or whatever. Shoot them a message. Ask them questions. What's the thing you do? Is it this? There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, guys. Literally, I swear he had like. I'm not, this is just a secret. <coughs> mm-hmm. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and watching the video. If you like the content, definitely hit the Impro RX button over to your left to subscribe and definitely check out more videos over here uh, to your right. Now, as always, if you have questions, comments, and even better, suggestions for future videos, definitely let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time guys,